So, you recorded your animation, but you have no idea what the next step is. Not a problem. Once you have recorded, the animation will be saved to a scene. You can find that scene by going here, pick that scene, and on the left, you will see all the different takes that you recorded. You can double click them to open, or you can right click and open that way. You can also export, rename, close, and group it with another take, delete it, or open its final location. However you decide to open it, you can middle click to pan the camera, scroll up and down to zoom, and right click to turn. If you want a specific angle, you can click up here to pick one, you can mirror the animation with this and if you want the camera to face and be parented to the character you can click here otherwise the camera will stay put at any point you can adjust the parts of the timeline that you can see by dragging the ends and the beginnings left and right here now if you go down here and turn on the gizmos you will see what the feet are touching the ground blue is the right foot and green is the left when the feet are in the air they look like outlines and when they're on the ground they'll be solid colors and under the timeline you will see the same green and blue colors if you're looking through the animation and you notice some jittering you can see that it's because Rokuko thinks that the foot stopped contact in the ground for a moment when it should be on the floor the whole time. You can click the ends and the beginnings of unwanted steps and delete them and then drag the correct step to however long it's supposed to be. Every time you change something here, hit process changes to make sure that they're applied. See, now it's not fidgeting anymore. Now if you look on the right side over here, you will see all the filters you can use to change your animation. Toe bend, treadmill, locomotion, and legacy are all the exact same as they were the last time. Toe bend allows your character's toes to bend, treadmill locks your character in the middle of the scene, locomotion lets your character move freely, and locomotion Locomotion Legacy is like locomotion but with more foot problems. Now, if you really wanted to use Legacy, you could fix this by going down here and checking the feet above ground filter. And it should fix most of the problems. But again, I recommend using normal locomotion if you can. The drift filter should be used when your real position starts to disconnect from the virtual one. Sometimes you'll start in the middle of your room in real life, and when you come back to the middle of the room, you will notice that your Rokoko character is totally not where it started. If you activate the drift filter and turn the gizmos on, you can tell Rokoko where the beginning and end of the the animation should be by typing in the XYZ values or you can click and drag them in manually. Now, 95% of the time those filters are the only ones you will ever need. But in the case that you just want to know what the other ones do, Foot IK lets you drag the hips lower to the ground. The closer pull down is to one, the lower the hips will be dragged. And uh, I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea what knee pop filter does. I've tried to turn it off and on and never noticed anything change. So I went to the website to read the description and all it told me was knee pop allows you to smooth out knee pop, which is not not the most useful definition because we still don't know what knee pop is, but whatever it does, you can turn it on and off here. And the last thing to cover is editing pieces of the recording. Most of the time, you don't need the whole animation. Usually, you just need a specific part. To do this, hold shift on the timeline and drag select the area that you need. And then when the current frame is inside that segment, hold shift and click on the right side of it. From here, if you press play, it will only replay this part. At this point, while you are holding down shift, you can click on the three dots to the right to bring up a menu. Now, if you want to make this segment a loop, Check this button, activate close loop, click start from origin to zero out the position at the beginning of the animation, and I recommend align motion to axis to make sure the character is facing the direction that they are moving. Now, transition time is how smooth the beginning and end of the loops flow into each other. Zero is jerky, and one is the smoothest. If you combine this with a treadmill filter, it's really easy to make walking and running cycles with this trick. Once you are happy, just go to export and you'll see the segment is ready to go into Blender. You can choose your file type, I usually only export skeleton, but you can also export the sensors, Rokoko 3D character, and face data if you have it. If you are using FBX, make sure that you set it to binary. I recommend the Maximo skeleton. Decide where you want to export it. Export, and you're done. If you don't want to export just the segment, hold shift, go back to the dots, and delete. And now when you export, you will be exporting the whole thing instead. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.